Okay, all right, the numbers are out. The July statistics just came out from the Reno Sparks Association of Realtors. In this video, I'm gonna give you a market update on what the heck is happening up here in the Reno Sparks housing market and what the metrics look like for July, 2021. Stick around. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you for stopping by the channel. I'm right down, as you can see, on the Truckee River here, Logan Allen Williamson, representing Williamson Professional Real Estate Sales. Thank you for bearing with me. I know it has been quite some time since the video has been uploaded. I've been very blessed, very lucky, and very grateful, and I am very grateful to having been kept busy this year, and I know I'll continue to be busy this year, moving into the end of this year, and certainly into next year with all of you that are reaching out, interested in buying or selling property up here in Reno. Now, as you know, you know, we're mid August right now. So the weather is fantastic and you want information. I'm getting people contacting me from all over the world about what it's like to live, eat, sleep, work and play up here in Reno, Nevada, and certainly what the real estate market is doing in this video. I want to go through July, 2021, the market stats, the market updates, the statistics, what's happening with inventory. What is the median home price? How many units are available? How many units sold? We'll get into the monthly supply of inventory and what you can expect moving into the latter end of 2021 into 2022 if you're considering a move up here. Now, as what I try to do, as everybody knows, is I try to bring you valuable content about the Reno real estate market, but also about the lifestyle, about what's going on up here, you know, as far as economic development, what is the job market doing up here? What can you expect in certain areas of town if you choose to live there? By any means, if you have any questions about Reno, Sparks, Lake Tahoe, Carson City, real estate, or lifestyle questions about anything having to do with living up here in Reno Sparks, I wanna to talk to you. My information is gonna be in this video, call, text, email, however you feel you wanna get in touch with me. In the future, because I am so busy, I'm continuing to build the infrastructure of my team. I will have new instructions about how to get a hold of me in the future, how to book calls, and how to make it more of a convenient process, but I get back to everybody. If you call, if you text, if you email, you will hear from me or my team, and I can't wait to chat with you soon. With all due, uh, with everything ado, or with all that behind me, um, down here at a beautiful location on the Truckee River, so excuse some of the noise and the drive-bys and everything else, but I'll tell you, let's jump right into it. It's a really, really hot market. It is quote unquote considered a seller's market right now, even though I hate to say that. There are always incentives to sell or to buy regardless of what's going on in the market. It depends on what your personal goals are. So if you have questions about how to execute a plan, reach out. I'm gonna take you into my computer in this video. We're gonna walk through what the market report looks like and I'm gonna go through a couple different details of what's happening right now. Hey, stick around, watch the whole video, and uh, I hope to talk to you soon. All right, everybody, thank you for jumping in. So let's dive right into it here. So July 2021 market statistics. So the first thing I brought up here, you know, these statistics are from the Reno Sparks Association of Realtors. So what we're not looking here, we're not looking at Lake Tahoe metrics. We're not looking at necessarily Carson City metrics. What we are looking at specifically are Reno Sparks metrics. So for the month of July, even though today as we speak now, it's sitting here, it's August 7th, moving into the 8th. So keep in mind that this is a snapshot of roughly one month ago. So all that being said, if you're looking at a condo or a townhome, now a lot of these come with HOAs. So it's something to consider. I mean, you can find townhomes or condos in the low 200s. There's one that just came available downtown for 244 with mountain views that was a one bedroom. Um, but generally speaking, condos are going to range from the low to mid 200s up to what could be anywhere between five and 600, if not more, depending on whether or not you're looking downtown in one of the high rise buildings with, you know, one of the suites toward the top or whatnot. But generally speaking, your median sales price for a townhome or a condo in Reno Sparks is going to be 294,000. But when we look at single family homes, this is what everybody wants to look at, right? So the median price, meaning that from all the homes sold from anything above what would be considered a condo townhome to what is considered a single family residence, which is a standalone single family home. What you are looking at at that point is going to be 530,000. So you're looking at everything from the very cheapest price all the way up to the highest price in the month of July. And then you add those together and divide it by the total number of homes sold, which would be 627. So essentially looking at this here, you can see that the active inventory that we have is 450 with the units that were sold being 627. So what's interesting between those two numbers is the discrepancy there. So essentially what you're looking at is a demand here that drastically exceeds the supply here. Now we did get a fair amount of new listings that came on just last month, 
which plays into the fact that there are still 450 homes available for sale at the end of the month, even though there were 627 sold. But based on current demand, depending upon how many listings come available next month in the month of August, you can pretty much guess that the MSI, the monthly supply of inventory, is going to be very low. Now, monthly supply of inventory, as we've discussed before, stands for just that, monthly supply of inventory, meaning that if no new homes came onto the market based on current demand at the rate that homes are selling, how fast would all of the active inventory and available inventory be sold? Now, in a stable market up here in Reno Sparks, because every market is different, a stable market is five to six months of inventory, which is a five to six month MSI. Now, back in the month of June, the MSI was 0.5, meaning that that is 0.5 months. So in two weeks, everything available for sale would have sold. So what we're seeing is presumably going to be even more of a decline in the MSI. And if it's 0.5 in the month of June and July, I would imagine that once additional data comes out, we're going to see that it was a little bit lower than that. And we're probably going to see that stabilize or remain similar through the end of this year, if I had to guess. I think the monthly supply of inventory is going to remain very low, meaning that the demand is going to exceed the supply for the foreseeable future. Now, the sold price, the average price per square foot was $302 per square foot. I've seen in certain neighborhoods where this has exceeded $350 per square foot. I've seen in other neighborhoods where this has been as low as $200 and I believe $9 per square foot. So it really, really depends on what area of town you're looking at. But as far as the median home price in Reno, Nevada, currently, you're looking at $530,000, which did not change from the month of June. The median price point in Nevada at one point, or up here in northern Nevada in Reno Sparks, was hovering at $275,000. So we've literally seen that double over the course of the past decade, um, which is quite absurd. I, th I personally think, humbly speaking, you know, my humble opinion, yeah, looking into my own personal Logan's crystal ball, I think we're going to see the median sales price get up into the high five, the mid to high 500 range, if not the low 600 range. And I think you're going to see the median price point hover there for quite some time. Um, but at this point in time, keep in mind, this is July 2021. Our median sold price was $530,000. Now, at $530,000, what you're looking at for your standard three-bedroom, two-bath, single-family home is going to be something that is typically going to be in the southeast Reno area, maybe something out in the northeast Sparks area over off of Vista Boulevard, out in Shadow Mountain or into Spanish Springs. But generally speaking, you're going to be look at, looking at some of the neighborhoods that are a little bit newer. Now, if it's an older neighborhood in this price range, you're getting up into what may be a four or five bedroom. You may be looking at something that has significant upgrades. But very generally speaking, at this price range for your standard 3-2, going to be looking in southeast Reno, if not northeast in certain areas of Sparks or some areas up in northwest Reno, like maybe Somerset. Um, that being said, just like what we saw, the condo townhome market stats are a little bit different. And uh, certainly in the luxury range, what we are seeing right now is anything under 650000 multiple offers, very competitive, anything 650 to roughly 900. We're seeing a little bit more breathing room, sometimes multiple offers, sometimes not. And then typically above a million dollars, what we're seeing is a very, very slow moving sales process, but there is quite a bit of demand there. There was a period of time where a million to $2 million was our fastest selling price range, but things have changed. Things have actually stabilized and softened just, just, just a bit. Um, and I mean that in terms of demand, obviously not in terms of pricing, but by any means, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I hope that was helpful. All right, hey, thank you for stopping by the channel. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found that valuable. Again, if you have any questions about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, play, or live up here in Reno, certainly if you have questions about buying or selling property up here, I am a full-time real estate agent here. I am local. I know the back roads are the back roads. I'm a Reno native. I was born and raised up here. I know almost everything there is to know about this area. And a lot of my clients would tell you that I am able to give you very wise counsel if you're considering moving up to the area. If I haven't already heard from you, send me a call. Send me an email, shoot me a text, give me a call. I wanna to talk to you. And certainly if you have any questions at all regarding Reno real estate or Reno lifestyle, I'm certainly here to help. I hope you're having a great summer and I hope to put out more valuable content more frequently than I have been. But thank you all for being patient and thank you for sticking with me. I'll talk to you soon.